Researchers at URI are hard at work trying to make alternative fuel for your vehicle that's made from grass. And as the Green Team's TJ Del Santo shows us, it could be available within a few years. URI researchers are working on this switchgrass to help make your car go. They call themselves Team Switchgrass. We work on switchgrass uh, specifically for biofuels. Switchgrass is a grass commonly found in the Northeast, including here in Rhode Island. URI molecular biology professor Albert Kausch and his team are interested in the grass as a non-food source for bioenergy. Currently, corn is used to make ethanol, a gasoline additive which reduces harmful emissions from cars. Switchgrass can also be used to create ethanol. It produces a lot of biomass per acre rapidly. Uh, it's pest resistant, it's drought tolerant, um, it's native to North America. These qualities make it conducive to making a lot of it quickly and inexpensively. But the grass can be made even better, which is what researchers here are doing. So we start off with seeds actually and generate cells that are like stem cells but for plants. So we generate cells that are capable of accepting DNA and that we can culture back into whole plants. Seven years of researching and creating a hybrid switchgrass to make it more tolerant to drought and pests has been productive. Switchgrass ethanol could also be much cheaper than corn ethanol, one third the cost. Reliance on foreign oil is certainly at the heart of this issue, but actually it contributes to sustainability for our economy as well as our energy resources. Couch says oil supplies likely won't be around forever, but switchgrass or other plants likely will. Drill baby drill, I say grow baby grow. Right? That's sustainability. And they expect to have this hybrid switchgrass available for commercial production in about three years. For the Green Team, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.